All right, we're going to take a look now at the IXL Geometry Module R.8. If you haven't already, you may want to check out the R.1 tutorial, which is linked in the description below. Also linked below, you can find a PDF of the questions that we are looking at in this video, along with the exact value reference card found further on in the video. Let's get started. This first one asks us to find the height of this 30, 60, 90 triangle, which is line segment DF. For reference, I'm showing the ratio between side lengths in the 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. We see that the shorter leg, X, is across from the 30 degree angle. We also see that the hypotenuse is twice the shorter leg. Looking over at the triangle from this question, we see that the hypotenuse is 2 times the square root of 23. That means that the shorter leg, across from the 30 degree angle, DF, is just 1 square root of 23. There's nothing to simplify here, so that'll be our final answer. The next one is a 45, 45, 90, or isosceles right triangle. We're given one of the legs and asked to find QR, which is the other leg. Well, since this is an isosceles right triangle with two congruent acute angles, 45 degrees and 45 degrees, the legs themselves are congruent. So the square root of 35 is our final answer here. Next up, we're looking at a right triangle with no special angles meaning it is neither 30, 60, 90, nor 45, 45, 90. So we'll need to use our trig functions to solve here. IXL actually gives you a hint that an exact measure will not be made because it says write your answer as a decimal rounded to the nearest tenth. We're solving here for the hypotenuse HJ. We're given a 66 degree acute angle and we're given the side adjacent to that angle. With this in mind, we'll choose the cosine function from our menu since cosine relates an angle to its adjacent side to the hypotenuse of the right triangle. To set this up, we'll have cosine of 66 degrees equals four over the hypotenuse, which we'll call X. Using algebra, we'll solve this equation for X which gives us x equals 4 over cosine 66. Using our calculator, which needs to be set to degrees, we'll tap in 4 divided by cosine 66. We'll get approximately 9.83. Rounded to the nearest tenth, that'll be 9.8. Next, we're asked to find the leg opposite the 63 degree acute angle. We are given the leg adjacent to that angle. From our list, it makes sense to choose the tangent function, which relates the legs opposite and adjacent to that angle. We'll set this up as tangent 63 equals the missing leg, we'll call it x, divided by 3.1. To solve, we'll multiply both sides of the equation by 3.1. So x equals tangent 63 times 3.1. Our calculator gives approximately 6.08, so rounded to the nearest tenth, that will be 6.1. Last one, we're looking for the hypotenuse and we're given a leg and an angle opposite that leg. We'll use the sine function this time, which relates the opposite leg to the hypotenuse of a right triangle. We'll set this up as sine 37 equals the square root of 21 over the hypotenuse, which we'll call x. To solve here, we'll multiply both sides of the equation by x and divide both sides of the equation by sine 37. Once we've solved the equation for x, we'll use our calculator to get an approximate value. That's going to be x is approximately 7.61. Rounded to the nearest tenth, that will be 7.6.